everyone, I'm Matea Lorette, a historical costumer and creative sewist, and today I will be showing you how I make my own cording, and I will be adding the cording to this neckline. So these are the materials that you will need. You will need the fabric that you're working with, and you will also need some cording. Now you can get this at the fabric store off of the roll and have them cut by the yard. However, I did buy it on a spool instead because I like that better. I, you will need a rotary cutter, a ruler and a mat. These are not mandatory, but they make it a lot easier than not having them. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to cut some strips on the bias. And how you do that is you take the edge of your fabric and you pull it over like that. And so your grain is like this and like this. You take your ruler and you line it up with the bottom edge down here. And you're gonna make a clean cut like this. Get rid of this guy. And I like to cut mine at like two and a quarter because I'm doing a little bigger than an eighth inch. I'm doing an almost five millimeter cording. So I'm gonna be cutting it at two and a quarter. I'll cut two strips because I think it might take two strips. There's that, cut a second one, like that. And now we have our two strips. And this next part is, I will put it here, and I'm connecting these two. So I'll lay these two out, crossing over like this, lining up with the line so it's like a perfect cross. And then I'll take my ruler, and this is because I'm connecting these two strips. I'll draw a line, a light line. You don't want to do a super dark one. And you'll take two pins on each side of that line and pin it like so. Now I'm at my table and I want to sew it on that line. However, instead of sewing it straight on that line, I'm going to sew to the right of the line on the outside over there. So lift that up and just sew it together. Take these out, and then I trim it down to a quarter inch, and I'll press that seam open. Press that open. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I have my cording here in the package right here, and I'm going to take this, and I'll lay this right across here. Fold it over like that. And I've got my cording in there like a little sausage. And I'm folding it over and lining up the edges on this side. And I'll basically take this and I'm just going to butt the edge of my foot up against the cording there. Back and forth. And I just put it in there as I go. So, like so. Right up against that edge. Okay, so we have that all sewed down there. And we're gonna take the actual bodice now. So here's the neck edge right here. And we're going to take the edge of the cording, clip this off. I'm gonna pull a little bit of this out and clip it like that. And pull the cording back in. So I'm folding that over, folding this under and this is going to be face up as I'm sewing. So line the fold up with the edge of the fold of the bodice. This down and butt it up against the, the cording. And line this edge up with the edge of the neckline there. And just stitch all the way around. And because we cut it on the bias, it's easier to curve it, so you always want to cut your cording on the bias. So now I'm getting to the end of the cording, and I cut about a half inch off, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, grab the cording on the inside, pull this out, 
and clip half an inch of cording off and then pull this back out like that. So I folded it over like I did before. Have a clean edge. Like that. All sewn together on the outside and usually when I'm finishing it I will just pull this forward and you still have your cording on the outside and you would just fold it underneath maybe trim a little bit in the back but fold it underneath all the way around like that and hand stitch it all the way around the edge and you would have a clean edge on the inside. So I'm actually not going to finish off the neckline like I mentioned how you would fold this under like this, press it down. You would hand stitch it all the way around the edge like that with it folded under. However, I am not going to do that today. I am going to add ruffles to the neckline. So you'll have to hit that subscribe button because that will be in the next video. Like this video and I will see you next time.